how to create twitter ads hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can create twitter ads as a complete beginner so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm over here onto this website called ads.x.com as you may have known twitter is now x so here when you come over here as you can see i'm already logged in into my profile if you are that's good if not you can go ahead and log in with your twitter account and it'll work and then once you're over here you can get started by just simply going ahead and entering in your location your time zone and clicking on create your first ads right so just select the location that you are located in or where you want to you know select your ads and then just set the time zone and you should be good to go and once you have filled everything out you've added your time zone you've added the country it's going to take you over here onto the next page where you can go ahead and set up your payments set your targeting and you know you have your return on investments basically here you will have your budgeting settings and then you have your ad at the bottom right so here is how your ad is going to look like here is where you're basically going to be creating your own ad right we're going to go ahead and do all of these things later first things first we're going to set up our ad right we can also set our targeting audience you know but it's best to do the ad first and then go ahead and set up audience and then you know budgeting and then set up your payments at the end so let's get into it so here you go they've changed up quite a bit since last time but yeah uh, it still works if you already have an existing ad you just simply click over here and all of the ads that you have created in the past are going to be right over here right so you can just simply go ahead and select that and import every single settings from that ad that you already have so that way you can go ahead and tweak it a little bit but if not you can go ahead and create a new one right over here again you have the ability to copy the ad as well if you have created one so you can see over here on the left hand side it's created a copy so i'm going to delete the copy and we're going to continue with the original one here is going to be the name you can go ahead and change the name later on but for now we're going to go ahead and move on so here you will have your tweet basically your headline what your ad is going to be about then down below what type of media it is either it's a carousel or a single media post if not you can go ahead and select whichever option you want and then you have your media option where you can have to go ahead and add the media itself here is where you're going to be adding your own creative so let's go ahead and click on add media and here you're going to go ahead and upload your media so use your jpeg or png photo or video whatever you want and click on it and browse and select the video you want so i'm going to select this video it's going to upload over here it's uploading so give it a couple of seconds and we should be good to go it's processing right here and once that's done you can just simply go ahead and confirm it so here we go we now have the video right here so we're going to click on confirm so now we have a media as well so over here i'm going to go ahead and add what this media is about so i'm going to be promoting let's say this red shirt right so i'm going to promote this red shirt and i'm going to say visit this website to get a 10 percent off or use this code to get 20 percent off whatever it is and over here you can add the headline and the website url as well so let's go ahead and fix this let's go ahead and add all this stuff over here so here i pasted my shopify url which is over here this is the product so i'm going to paste that link over here and i'm going to headline it well give it the name of the checkered red shirt over here so over here this is how it would look like right here from this shop right here although of course this is a free shop it doesn't look that good but you know if you were to upload your own link i'm sure it would look much better than mine right and over here we're gonna add our title so we're gonna add this one and we're gonna make it bolder as well i, I don't know if it's doing anything over here but still we'll just say get your checkered red shirt today so something like this looks good get your checkered shirt today by clicking the link below and get 20 percent off with the code dns20 i think that looks good and once that's done we just simply save it over here you know uh leave it as it is this is good this is going to be our creative our creative is done we've got our video we've got our headline and details and everything looks good all right we're just simply going to save it as draft so that we don't lose the progress uh over here you can see the how many well letters you could add but it's loading right now so let's see what we get and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next step which is going to be selecting our budget right so here we have our daily budget it's important to note that if this is your first time trying out an ad make sure your budget is as low as possible so some websites 
uh, have a limit of how much budget you can put. Uh, usually it's around $50, but you know, some even allow it to go even below that. I think 10 looks good. Over here, you're gonna select pick an action. So purchase tracker, lead generator, download tracker, or what? So here, since we are selling our shirt let's go ahead and select that we want the purchase tracker and target cost per action or the cpa here i'll again put like ten dollars and over here you can see seven purchases a week all right for every ten dollars in ad spend x will aim to deliver one purchase right so that's one purchase per day uh, which isn't a lot but you know just for testing it out and seeing if it works we can go ahead and tweak out the budget later on once it's done right so this looks good next step is to go with targeting audience so we have auto targeting right here uh x ads will automatically target audience relevant to your ad so which i think is pretty good they've already implemented ai although i would have loved to go ahead and set my own audience but this works fine so you can select gender uh any man woman depends on you so we'll select men age range if you want uh let's say we want between the age ranges of 18 well we can't select any below but let's say we want 18 and up so there we go and we can add multiple different locations so as you can see right now we have 63.1 million to 69 million based on our current target which is a good number but you know it is still a y number so uh well how ads works is if you have a narrow audience or the more narrow your search is like for example a specific location with a specific age specific gender specific phone number and everything you're gonna have to spend a lot more money right your budget is going to be different your budget is going to be higher it's going to be more expensive but if you go with the broader term uh, you might not get as many sales that you might have wished for but the overall expenses on your ads well they'll be a lot cheaper but again you won't get much results so uh it's best not to go too narrow and not too broad you know find the sweet spot that you're looking for it depends on you and what your product is so you know it depends on you uh once you've selected your location like for now we'll leave it at united states you can add whatever location you want next we're going to click on the next button and of course it's going to take us to our investment tracking we've already done that but yeah once everything is set all you got to do is set up your payment details so make sure you selected your objective which is going to be sales over here add the name or right here for your ad campaign and add your credit card and once that's done once everything looks good then all you got to do is just simply click on launch campaign and you are good to go it will also tell you to install the pixel into your website if you haven't so for example uh, come over here onto your shopify store go into the online sales channels or well click on the applications you might find them right here in the app section just simply click over here click on all recommended apps and then go to the shopify app store and just simply search for twitter ads or x so here we go as you can see it's telling us to track the pixels so we got to install the pixels copy the following code and paste it to the head tag of your website which is over here you can download the code over here installation instructions are going to be over here so you know depends on you but yeah just simply search for x or twitter and you will find it right here currently it's not compatible with this store because x is not currently you know available in my country but all you gotta do is just simply install the application as well and it'll automatically uh, connect you with your ad settings as well and you know allow you to install the pixels much more easily and once that's done just simply click on next and it's going to go ahead and uh, tell you to add the event pixel so make sure you go ahead and select the event that you want and copy the code and just simply go ahead and click on continue to your account and just launch your ads so pretty simply this is how you do it this is how you set up and create your ads on twitter so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye Bye.